Chad here for your Monday recap. In my message yesterday morning, my focus was on the sanctity of life, and I presented a biblical argument against abortion. And for this recap, I would like to highlight two things. First of all, a point of correction from my message yesterday. In my message yesterday, and I didn't catch it until after the message was over, I said that many of the stats that I presented, I received from the Guttenheimer Institute. That actually is incorrect. It's the Guttmacher Institute, the Guttmacher Institute. So I apologize for that incorrect statement, but if you would like to see those stats for yourself, you can type in Google Guttmacher Institute and you can see many of these statistics that I presented yesterday. And the second thing that I'd like to note here, and the primary thing is this, one of the ways I think we can combat the culture of, of abortion that we live in here in America is to uphold and cherish children, to uphold and cherish the aspect and the idea and the actual reality of having children. Many times we like to think that children are going to hold us back from being successful with our careers or with our life or with our goals. And what we don't understand is, is that children, because they are a treasure, they are an indicator of success themselves, especially when they are had in the proper context, or rather, I guess I should say, especially when one understands that they are a treasure given from God. In that sense, then we realize that indeed we are having a successful life because God has blessed us with children. So I think as Christians, we should uphold, we should advertise, we should propagate we should banter the reality that children are a gift from God. And I think it's great when Christian people have children. Now, I understand that we still have jobs and responsibilities, and children are hard. Parenting is hard and difficult. I don't want to minimize any of that. I know that. I realize that. But at the same time, Scripture clearly indicates that children are a gift from God and that we as Christian parents are commissioned, we're commanded by God to raise them up in the way that they should go to instill in them proper belief and proper practice so that they may not leave it. That is no guarantee that they will follow the faith once they leave the household. But we as parents, we as parents are commanded to do everything we can to help them while they are under our roof. So that's the Monday recap. I hope you have a great week and we will see you on Sunday.